What's up, viewers and listeners? Welcome to the very first episode of The, the Podcast. And uh, we are your hosts. Hi, I'm Micaela Ramos, General Manager of Big Pond Education. You can call me Mikai for short. And uh, yeah, I am Etiel Estadilio, the producer of this show. Thank you, Ma'am Mikai, for giving me the opportunity to collab with uh, Big Pond Education. And with that being said, who exactly is Big Pond? So, Big Pond Education is an educational technology provider uh, which has serviced almost uh, 50 schools across the Philippines. So, we provide the latest inf uh, educational technology solutions and we feel like um, we want to contribute in improving the, the quality of ed education in the Philippines and technology is the fastest way to do that. But um, recently, we also realized that even though we have the best technologies available, that we really need to upskill our teachers as well. So Big Pond is now offering, just in 2022, we are now offering um, next level teacher trainings for our dear professional teachers. So yeah, basically that's what we do. But in the heart of it all, Big Pond wants to contribute in raising the quality of Philippine education for the 21st century learner. As you know, there are 21st century skills that we, we need to acquire. And um, sadly, the Philippines is um, lagging behind. But we feel like there is a way, there are solutions that can help us get to where we want to go. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why, I mean, not trying to put words in your mouth, but I think that's one of the reasons why Mikai and I, you know, came to the conclusion that we start the podcast. It's because, like, you know, uh, um, it's it's a pla a podcast is a platform where, you know, the big pond, uh, where Big Pond, rather, uh, can flourish in, like, you know, uh, spreading the word about, like, um, advertising their, uh, what do you call it, uh, educational technology solutions uh, to uh, to teachers and students alike yeah. if I'm correct and uh, yeah the podcast is also a platform where you know anyone who's anyone who has internet who has YouTube or uh, you know Spotify can just give it a listen and you know see what it's all about and who knows maybe you guys might be interested in you know what Big Pond has to offer via the podcast so uh, with that being said what content are is our audience supposed to expect yeah so aside from us promoting our products and services we want to also give you a the behind the scenes or the backstory to our products and our services, why we offer what we offer, because we do put a, uh, a lot of heart in what we do. And I think that it is not clearly communicated in our meetings, for example, in our Zoom meetings or face-to-face -face meetings with our clients. Uh, we often leave that out and we just focus on our products and services as is. So this is the perfect avenue for us to actually um, tell our story, tell, tell our reasons, our rationale behind everything that we do, um, the story or the, the journey that we are taking as a company uh, towards our goal, towards our passion, which is education. Exactly. And, uh, you know, the, the podcast is also a uh, great platform for, you know, Big Pond to invite uh, certain uh, guests from the Philippine educational uh, space, uh, such as uh, people from uh, the Department of Education, from CHED or uh, other universities. In fact, we can also invite students, you know, just to get their take on uh, uh, how the status of Philippine education is and, you know, uh, how they think about uh, or what they think about uh, Big Pond's uh, technological solutions as well. So, uh, yeah, but uh, who exactly is our, tar our target audience? So, of course, we are targeting the educators in, in the Philippines, but we are also um, catering to the students. We also want to, to listen to, to our end user or our end customer. At the end of the day, we serve the students. We uh, our aim is to for you to learn the best way you can uh, using the best tools and the best um, research back um, pedagogical styles out there. So yeah, we want you to learn about these things also. And we want the school leaders to also um, take a listen or um, 
listen to our pat uh, listen to our podcast and to get fresh ideas we hope that we would be able to give some insights and um, like put new ideas out there that might not be um, so uh, that might not be in the Philippines yet so our goal is to you know um, open our minds open the conversations on the different topics of education that might not have been discussed before so this is the perfect avenue and we're opening opening it this is the perfect avenue and we are opening the conversation to all the stakeholders in education in the Philippines. And of course, the international audience, if you are uh, curious about what's happening in the Philippines, you are free to, of course, join in and listen to our podcast. Speaking of international audience, so uh, I think just recently, uh, Big Pond uh, concluded uh, their most recent event in uh, SEL, yeah. which is uh, Social Emotional Learning, yes. uh, am I correct? Uh, which is, uh, it, it was based in Finland, right? Yeah, the, the, our partners are from Finland. Yeah, the, the partners are from Finland and, you know, uh, the, the goal of that event was to, like, tackle uh, mental health for teachers and students, yes. uh, am I correct? Yes. So uh, I think uh, with that being said, um, for the international audiences and for the local audiences, uh, at least, you know, yeah, wait, cut, cut, one, two, three, action. For the local audiences, at least they would get like the best of both worlds with the podcast because we will be, you know, uh, keeping everyone up to date with Philippine education and at the same time, we will also be providing uh, the international, uh, uh, what do you call this, the international products from our partners. We will be sharing it to uh, the people, uh, to the Filipinos rather, yeah. right? Uh, but like, uh, you want to say something? Okay, go. Okay. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, So aside from, you know, um, showcasing international products, we will also want to bring in some expertise from abroad to see if we're up to date. You know, it's not about um, comparing or seeing how far behind we are, but actually yeah. exploring where we are at. And maybe we'll be surprised that we're not far behind at all or after all. Maybe we're just, you know, we just need to tweak some some things and we will be headed towards the right direction, you know. So it's uh, for us to have, again, uh, to open up that avenue for, for t our local teachers to also um, connect or... Three, two, one. So it will be an avenue for our teachers to also see where we are at and consider what we can learn from other countries as well but vice versa you know other countries may uh, learn a thing or two exactly. also from our exactly. educational system so yeah let's see right let's see. it's all, it's all about the exploration or having that conversation basically uh, with our audience but aside from the podcast uh, do you mind sharing with our uh, you know audience like uh, what other upcoming events are they supposed to be looking forward to yeah so our next um, so our next uh, webinar will be on floorball coaching. So we partnered with the Philippine Floorball Association. And the reason behind why we are partnering with them is because we have seen uh, floorball as a sport that Filipinos can excel in. So as we all know, we are basketball lovers, but there are other options. We are not replacing basketball, but we are introducing, you know, other things that we can be good at exactly. as, a, as a country or for our kids to be involved in. So that's why we partnered with the Philippine Floorball Association to have this training. And luckily, we have the Lyceum of the Philippines. Sorry. Luckily, we have the Lyceum of the Philippines in Cavite as our partner, and they will be providing the venue for us. And our teachers will have um, an online and hybrid session with with the coaches from PFA. So the first day on it will be on August 10 to the 12th. 
Uh, on the first day, it will be a kickoff web webinar with our coaches, and then on the second and third day will be the practical application. So, so they will be able to try floorball for themselves, uh, play uh, the sport, and see how it feels, and if it, this is something they want to continue. So, for example, they want to teach it as a PE or create their own clubs. So this is. Um, um, this is the perfect time for coaches out there or sports enthusiasts to explore a new sport and uh, see where they three, two, one, and see where it takes them. Yeah, and uh, so watch out for episode two, which will be hosted by yours truly, because in episode two, uh, our guest will be none other than the. So uh, watch out for episode two of the podcast hosted by yours truly because uh, we will be having as our guest none other than the president of uh, PFA, uh, Coach Ralph Ramos. Uh, well, we will be discussing you know, uh, more details about the upcoming event at LPU Cavite, which is coming up once again, which is coming up on August 10 to 12 and uh, we, we hope to see you there but uh, before we you know before we conclude this episode uh, uh, maybe there are other upcoming events that um, you want to plug to our audience and at the same time uh, at least we could also like make them aware now we might actually make an episode uh, based off these events so we have another uh, seminar so we have another training on August 27 on hybrid learning. So it's entitled Back to School, Succeed in a Hybrid Learning Environment. So our goal there for um, so our goal there is for our teachers, you know, we are all new to the hybrid learning environment. And I know there are so many um, trainings already available on that, but what makes our training different? Um, so we will be focusing on the teaching techniques in a hybrid environment um, and we are including a session on assessments on the hybrid um, in a hybrid learning setup and the third one is we will be having a session on digital literacy which we feel like it's not commonly addressed uh, at this point as part of hybrid learning so uh, we feel like uh, in order to succeed for teachers and students to succeed in this type of a learning environment, they also need to learn and to be critical on um, digital literacy, on where they, they get their information, where they search for, you know, um, learning material. So I know the internet is filled with information, but where to find um, trusted um, trusted materials, that is the, the, the challenge there. So our aim is to educate teachers on how they could also train their students. Uh, to do that so yeah all right and uh, yeah watch out for these upcoming events guys and definitely we will also be releasing episodes related to these upcoming events for further details and to also like you know catch your attention maybe you guys might want to uh, attend one of these events as well and we have been your hosts Mikai and Itiel and uh, we'll see you guys soon bye thank you